Michael Jackson's only love was 14 years older, and he called her mom. Michael Jackson first met Diana Ross at age 10. He signed with Motown Records with the Jackson 5. Diana was the label's most notable star. She first saw Jackson 5 performing for a charity show. Diana decided to help them in their career. The media falsely claimed she discovered the Jackson 5. She used her connections to make them famous. Michael's family was looking for a place in Los Angeles. Michael moved in with Diana for a year. He called Diana Mama and his girlfriend. He wouldn't let anyone near her. When Michael was 19, he played the scarecrow in The Wiz. Diana Ross was named to play Dorothy. It was speculated she only got the part because of Michael. At 33, she was considered too old for the part. Michael's mother Catherine said, When Diana Ross was named to play Dorothy, Michael had further incentive to land a role in the movie. He'd been in love with her ever since he and his brothers had been her house guests. During filming, Michael and Diana would regularly go out. They attended parties in New York Studio 54 nightclub. Diana spent at least one night in Michael's apartment. They would publicly flirt with each other for years. Michael always carried a photo of him and Diana. He thought a woman had to look like her to be beautiful. There was a room in Michael's house full of Diana's pictures. Allegedly, they were engaged twice. Both times Diana broke off the engagement. They had a 14-year age gap. Diana worried it would damage her career. She made several attempts to soften the blow for Michael. They were together at the 1981 Oscars. Diana said Michael was going to play her son. In 1986, she married her second husband. Michael was set to attend their wedding, but he canceled at the last minute. When I heard Diana Ross was getting married, I was happy for her because I knew it would make her very joyous. Still, it was hard for me because I had to walk around pretending to be overwhelmed that Diana was getting married to this man I'd never met. I wanted her to be happy, but I have to admit that I was a bit hurt and a little jealous. Michael and Diana both were at 1986's American Music Awards. Michael showed up halfway through the show. He appeared visibly upset and cold towards Diana. Michael wrote several songs about her. One of them is Remember the Time. In 1987, he released the song Dirty Diana. Many fans speculated it was a dig at Diana Ross. Diana secretly saw Michael even during her pregnancy, but their interactions became more infrequent. She focused on her family, and he toured around the world. In 1995, Diana visited Michael in the hospital. He had his then-wife Lisa Marie Presley over. She was thrown out of his room before Diana's arrival. Diana was mentioned in Michael's will. She was named as a secondary guardian for his kids. After Michael's death, Diana defended him against critics. I believe and trust that Michael Jackson was and is a magnificent incredible force to me and to many others. Stop in the name of love.